All right, so what is a figure competition? I know you're all dying to know because you keep asking me and I feel like, honestly, my answers have kind of been subpar. So what better way to answer it than through a video? All right, so at its simplest, a figure competition is a subdivision of female bodybuilding. Um, beyond that, it turns out it's a little bit more complicated, according to my research. And that's because there are a bunch of different organizations and they each have their own divisions and then those have their own judging criteria. So to keep things simple, I'm going to go with the NPC's divisions and criteria. They are the um, National Physique Committee and they're the largest amateur bodybuilding organization in the U.S. So I felt that was fair. Um, but to be clear, I'm actually competing in an INBA competition, which is uh, the International Natural Bodybuilding Association. Phew. Okay, so now that we got through that, we can get on to the details. In the NPC, there are five subdivisions for women and only two for men. Here you can see the divisions. I've listed them from most to least muscular. Um, I'm not actually sure if that's the perfect terminology, but it is the basic gist. So for women's, it's bodybuilding, followed by physique, then fitness or figure, um, the difference being that fitness has a routine component and figure does not. Um, that means I'm taking the easy way out, yes. Um, and finally, there's also the bikini division. As for the men, there's bodybuilding and physique, and I will let you read into that what you'd like, but I think the differences are interesting. Let's start by diving into the men's categories. First, as you see here, this is Alexis Rivera Rolone, who won the 2014 NPC Championship for bodybuilding. And in that division, they're looking for what's known as the total package, or size, symmetry, and muscularity. In the physique competition, Logan Franklin won. And there, they're looking for muscularity and body condition. And they also mentioned that extreme muscularity should be marked down because then he should really be competing in the bodybuilding category. On to the women's categories. So for women's bodybuilding, they actually have the same judging criteria as the men's, where they're looking for the total package, size, symmetry, and muscularity. And here we see pictured the winner, again from the 2014 NPC Championship, Susan Marie Smith. In the physique subdivision, Judges are looking for symmetry, shape, proportion, muscle tone, poise, and beauty flow. And there's a routine section. Think of kind of like a gymnastics routine. And in 2014, the physique competition was won by Marcy Simmons, who's pictured here. What I also found interesting was the site mentioned terms that should not be associated with physique competitors, specifically ripped, shredded, peeled, striated, dry, diced, hard, vascular, grainy, massive, thick, and dense. The 2014 figure competition was won by Samantha Schmitchko, who is pictured here. She better watch out, that's all I have to say about that. Um, and the judges were looking for a small degree of muscularity with separation, no visible striations. Overall muscle tone with shapely lines, overall firmness and not excessively lean, full general assessment, including healthy appearance, makeup, and skin tone. In the bikini subdivision, judges are looking for balance and shape, overall physical appearance, including complexion, skin tone, poise, and overall presentation. And pictured here is the winner, Lauren Conlin. So that wraps up our coverage of the men's and women's bodybuilding subdivisions. Okay, first of all, really quick rant. From a technology consultant to NPC, please consider choosing a standard template for your judging criteria and improve your website design. It's not that hard. Okay, now a few questions for you guys. Why do you think there are the differences in categories and judging criteria between men's and women's bodybuilding? 
And do you think those differences are justified? My cat is meowing at me, so I'm going to introduce you to Des real fast. Hi, Des, say hi. Okay, now back to what, as I was saying, thank you for tuning in to week 20. Um, and I look forward to seeing you next week.